Twitter user Andrew Lawrence clipped out a video from a recent airing of the Tucker Carlson show, and it's just downright appalling. I would like to say, you know, Tucker Carlson is finally showing his true colors, but he showed his true colors to everyone years ago. For people who have been paying close attention to Tucker Carlson, the rhetoric that he espouses is so deeply dangerous, so deeply bigoted, that I don't know how you haven't seen him for what he is sooner. But yet, there's a lot of people that tend to give him a pass because every once in a while, he'll say something that is seemingly populist economically. He'll say, look, Amazon is being too greedy. I agree with AOC on this. Or he'll be anti-interventionist and say we shouldn't wage wars. And these are all fine. But it gets people to think, well, you know what? Since he's good on issues X, Y, and Z, I'm going to give him a pass for everything else. But it's a fucking trick, and we can't buy into it because the rhetoric that he is espousing is deeply, deeply dangerous. So listen to this clip here and judge for yourself. This is what he has to say about one of the only people in Congress who's fighting for you and me, Ilhan Omar. Omar isn't disappointed in America. She's enraged by it. Virtually every public statement she makes accuses Americans of bigotry and racism. This is an immoral country, she says. She has undisguised contempt for the United States and for its people. That should worry you, and not just because Omar is now a sitting member of Congress. Ilhan Omar is living proof that the way we practice immigration has become dangerous to this country. A system designed to strengthen America is instead undermining it. Some of the very people we try hardest to help have come to hate us passionately. Maybe that's our fault for asking too little of our immigrants. We aren't self-confident enough to make them assimilate so they never feel fully American. Or maybe the problem is deeper than that. Maybe we're importing people from places whose values are simply antithetical to ours. Who knows what the problem is? But there is a problem. And whatever the cause, this cannot continue. It's not sustainable. No country can import large numbers of people who hate it and expect to survive. The Romans were the last to try that with predictable results. So be grateful for Ilhan Omar, annoying as she is. She's a living fire alarm, a warning to the rest of us that we better change our immigration system immediately or else. I think that that clip speaks for itself. What else do you even say? I don't need to supplement that video with my commentary because he said everything. He said everything. It's right there. The only fucking thing that was missing is a hood over his face. This isn't dog whistle racism and bigotry. This is a bullhorn that he is screaming in your face. Take him at his word. He very clearly just told you who he is. He showed himself. So if you didn't pick up on his cues before, now it should be crystal clear. And watching that, I couldn't help but think, you know, it's no wonder why Ilhan Omar frequently gets death threats. It's because of things like this. Let's go through what he said. Quote, she has undisguised contempt for the United States and its people. That should worry you. Ilhan Omar is living proof that the way we practiced immigration has become dangerous to this country. She's a living fire alarm, a warning to the rest of us. We better change our immigration system immediately or else. So do I really need to break that down any further? He's telling you, be very afraid of Ilhan Omar. Can you believe that we let her into our country? Not her country, our country. And this person is criticizing the United States? How dare she criticize the United States? This isn't her country. This is our country. She doesn't even look like us. She's not one of us. And she's dangerous to people like us. We're the real Americans. So how dare she criticize the United States? We need to stop letting people like her in that criticize the United States and maybe only let people in who um, have the same uh, skin tone as you or I and who have drunk in the uh, pro-American Kool-Aid and won't criticize us ever. What more do you need? This is fucking despicable. And weeks ago, I couldn't help but laugh when people were freaking out because Carlos Maza, you know, after that blow up with Steven Crowder and him, he had it in his Twitter bio, Tucker Carlson is a white supremacist. 
I mean, people actually took issue with that. If that isn't white supremacy that you just watched, then what the fuck is? Does he literally have to put on a fucking clan hood? I mean, what else is that? What else is that? How much more brazen does he have to be for people to realize, holy shit, this person is deeply, deeply bigoted and he's dangerous. Maybe these views shouldn't be broadcasted to millions of people every single night. Maybe we should call for an advertiser boycott because what he's saying is deeply harmful. He's stoking the fans of hate and fear against immigrants. I mean... <laughs> Why is this so difficult for people to, to admit that Tucker Carlson is obviously bigoted and he oftentimes espouses white supremacist rhetoric on his show? Is that really hard for people to admit? Because I, I like it's inconceivable to me that you could reach any other conclusion if you just watch a little bit of him, if you watch this clip here. I mean, he's telling you basically without saying that he doesn't like these immigrants because they're not American enough for him. How dare you criticize America? And the reason why I think people, they, you know, their hands off Tucker is because he found a way to, I think, brilliantly legitimize himself by plucking out certain issues that are largely agreeable. You know, economic populism, talking about anti-interventionism. Of course, Americans hate wars. So he can play on that to get you to think he is someone who is an ally, potentially. And then he oftentimes will spew white supremacist propaganda and rhetoric on a daily basis. I mean, I just don't know what else to say if you don't see it. Um, <laughs> then I, I can't help you. I can't make you see it if you haven't already saw it. The dude's a fucking white supremacist. Using white supremacist talking points. And um, this has just become normalized. Now, Ilhan Omar responded to this. And this is what she said. Not gonna lie, it's kind of fun watching a racist fool like this weeping about my presence in Congress. No lies will stamp out my love for this country or my resolve to make our union more perfect. They will just have to get used to calling me Congresswoman. And I think that really is the perfect response because you know that people like Ilhan Omar in the eyes of someone like Tucker Carlson thinks that she should be relegated to, you know, just uh, poverty. How dare this person who isn't even a real American like you and me, how dare she become a congressperson, actually achieve power in our society when she's critical of us? Unbelievable. So he's saying, you know, if you criticize America ever, you're un-American. Well, protesting and criticizing America is the most American thing ever. That's why we have the First Amendment, Tucker. And it protects people in Congress as well. But I mean, I... How much more brazen does he have to get before people stop taking him seriously altogether? How much more brazen does it have to get? This is absolutely despicable. Absolutely despicable. But, um, you know, every once in a while he'll say AOC was right about Amazon. Or he will uh, say we shouldn't go to wars. Okay. But um, if you acknowledge that, don't minimize the harm that he's causing with this type of rhetoric. It's deeply, deeply disturbing and problematic overall. And he should be absolutely ashamed of himself. But he's not because he makes millions of dollars going on TV every single night fear-mongering about immigrants. I mean, if Ilhan Omar isn't the model immigrant to him, who is? I can't quite figure out what type of immigrant would be acceptable to someone like Tucker Carlson. It's so obvious. He's so brazen. And if you don't see it, I don't know what to tell you. The man is a white supremacist.